Uganda registered the first case of COVID-19 on 21st March 2020. The index case was a 36-year-old male Ugandan who had traveled to Dubai on 17th March 2020 for a business trip. And by the end of March, 44 cases had been confirmed in the country. Uganda registered the first death in July 2020, and at the time, the total cases had hit 1,151. The recovery stood at 1,028, while the active cases were 123. In November alone, Uganda registered 7,964 new cases, which brought the total of confirmed cases to 20,459. The death toll rose to 205, while recoveries increased to 8,989, leaving 11,265 active cases. In other words, the number of new infections in one month surpassed those of nearly five months of the lockdown. According to the Lancet Commission data for August 2020, Uganda was the best African country in surpassing COVID-19 infections. Uganda was the 10th among 191 countries worldwide. However, those gains seem to be slowly getting wiped out with the new COVID cases and deaths rising rapidly. Now we are burying every day. Every day for me on my phone I get messages of like three people have died so and so on. Cloth masks which was promised has not uh, reached uh, many people. We need that number to increase to a critical mass, maybe 50% of the people putting on masks. Those who have been hired to um, handle the issue of COVID-19 in regional hospitals and other hospitals haven't been paid since September. According to the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Health, they were put on pressure to ease lockdown which had been effective in controlling the spread of the virus. Then you get and find all these people in Chikubo packed. Dr. Trine noted that the Health Ministry has had challenges with COVID-19 prevention messages to the public. The Health Ministry believes that the political campaign season has greatly affected the reception of COVID-19 messages by diverting public attention. You, you, you are telling people, today we registered 100 people, please, wow, congratulations. So how many are you targeting in order to get how much money? So we are like, oh, so, so that means we should keep quiet, we should not tell people the number. The moment we lost trust in our leadership was the beginning of the loss of the fight of COVID-19. Why am I saying this? You look at the campaigns uh, in the elections, uh, they, are, they have crowds. However, she's optimistic that not all has been lost. Government now plans to entrench the fight against COVID-19 in the mainstream medical system. Currently, government has to meet the challenges for COVID-19 tests for most of the people. Everybody, other than themselves, for being careful, somehow they blame the Minister of Health. So we have been the punch bag for COVID, which is okay, that is understandable. But I think people need to take responsibility. Dr. Twine says another lockdown, like it has been in Europe, would significantly control new infections in Uganda, but she appreciates that it is no longer possible. In the festive season, which is just days away, Dr. Twine strongly advises against the tradition of urban dwellers traveling to their rural homes to celebrate Christmas with their extended families in villages. Don't take off because you don't, we don't know that status. We don't know our status. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.